Greetings and salutations, my name is Ms. Meg and welcome, welcome, welcome to another life update video. Pretty much about two months ago, I posted a video to my channel called Life Update, if you <laughs> haven't guessed. And in that video, I sort of just sat down, talked with you guys one on one, went through a couple of things, said I was unsure about a lot of things. So I thought that it would be a really good opportunity now that I'm a bit more settled in and a bit more certain of things and how things are going to look just to yeah do a little bit of a follow up. Uh, by the way, FYI, I have no intention of editing this video. So uh, please forgive me if I stumble over my words or I'm not... <laughs> you know, as quick <laughs> to things as I normally am. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted this to be an authentic me sitting down and talking to you directly kind of video. So anyway, I did go back and rewatch the video. I pretty much listed all the points. So if you see me look over here, I don't have a secret script. I've just literally written four bullet points. But yeah, let's let's go over a couple of things, shall we? Number one, I moved. <laughs> We're in the new house. This is the new setup. I uh, you, obviously you guys have seen it in my recent videos as I've made a lot of videos here now. It's definitely weird. I'm someone who's very very sacred and very particular about my space, so I definitely still need a little bit of time to adjust and just adjust to the energy in the space as as crazy as that sounds. I know some people probably rolled their eyes as I said that. <laughs> but I just, yeah, I'm very particular about my space, about the energy that's in my space. I think when my energy is at its peak, I'm at its peak. I, okay, but I, I'm not an it, but <laughs> you get the point that, yeah, when my energy is at its peak, I'm at my peak. Uh, so yeah, definitely still taking a little bit of time to adjust. And the cool thing about this is I get to get off my cool third monitor and I get to change it with my videos. And I, I don't know if you could tell, I've been having a lot of fun doing that. So <laughs> Yeah, with that being said, I moved, everything worked out, soundproofing worked out really good. Obviously can't be screaming out the top of my lungs, but I can I can get away with quite a fair bit. I can have a hairdryer on here and nobody else can hear it. So maybe I shouldn't advertise that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I moved, everything went okay. New hair color. Okay, a lot of people have been asking me, Miss Mac, why have you just not mentioned this at all? <laughs> yeah, I dyed my hair blue for about a week, two weeks. And then I really hated the blue and I dyed it blonde and now we're in my blonde Ms. Mac era again. But in saying that, I felt like I got more views on my channel when I was blonde. So this is going to be a really good chance to prove all those people who, who told me I was nuts for thinking that wrong. But yeah, new hair color as well. But yeah, that was the first major point that I moved. Everything's okay. But there are going to be some changes content wise. In case you haven't noticed it already, stream is, stream is no more. The major reason being that the internet connection here is just not stable enough for me to guarantee a two hour stream every Wednesday to, I mean, I mean, I have a relatively good internet connection most of the time, but to put it in perspective for you guys, the other week I tried to upload a video about 30 minutes before I, you know, before nine o'clock when I usually upload, it took four hours to upload. And then other videos that were longer than that video uploaded within 10 minutes. So it's really haywire i can't guarantee i can't make predictions or anything of that nature so yeah unfortunately i can't guarantee a stream anymore um i have been looking into making sort of a discord community night but it's just been about trying to find a time to slot that in because as you're about to find out yeah my schedule has filled up a lot but i definitely have been looking into it and i've been i've presented a couple of ideas or i've been contemplating a couple of ideas so i definitely because i definitely do love connecting with you guys with that being said though, I think as well, if if I ever do stream again, it's probably if I ever do get a stable internet connection again, streaming may not automatically come back. I for the longest time, I've mentioned this in a couple of streams now, but I think it's a very good point to mention this when I probably have a lot of my viewers watching right now. I used to be a streamer, right? When I started this whole content creation journey in 2020, I think it was, I spent my first two, three years streaming on Twitch, right? And then I quit. I quit for a couple of reasons. I quit because just the platform didn't work for me mentally. Um, streaming was never the end goal. I, If I ever did become successful at streaming, I, I wanted to eventually transition into YouTube. So I thought, why not just start there instead of building this big audience and then having to convert them all to YouTube? And then 
on top of that, Twitch as a platform, uh, with all the changes that they've made at the time and for some of the changes I've heard after I left, uh, <laughs> as well as just like a lot of the people on there. I, I think there's lovely people on Twitch. A lot of the people in my Discord are from my Twitch days, but there's also a lot of bad people on there. And I find that YouTube tends to be a lot more of a peaceful platform. I can count on one hand the amount of co hate comments I've gotten in the last year. So, uh, <laughs> whereas with Twitch, it was it was pretty much every single day. So with that all being said, because I started out as a streamer and I became a YouTuber, I very much had this label of streamer and I've been trying for the longest time to shed that label because if people start calling me a streamer then that is a misrepresentation of the content I work on because when I did stream it was just meant to be a fun little three hour once a week kind of thing no effort minimal effort whereas my videos is where all the love and the passion and the energy goes so if people start calling me a streamer and then they click on my streams and it's not to the quality I like, then people go, what the hell is going on? <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely been a label I've been trying to shed for a while. I think that even if I do get a stable internet connection back, I'm probably not going to go back to being a streamer until I've really established myself as a YouTuber because I want that to be first. You know, when you hear Ms. Mac, I want YouTuber to be the first thing that comes to your mind, not streamer. And I think I haven't done a very good job of doing that. So yeah, that is going to be my first priority. Maybe one day when I'm a full-time YouTuber and I'm making the big bucks on YouTube and I can quit my full-time job, <laughs> which is a goal for me. You know, I never, okay, sorry, side tangent. We'll circle back around to it. But basically, you know, when I have established myself a bit more, I'll come back. But in the meantime, I probably won't be coming back to streaming anytime soon. But yeah, circling back to what I said I would circle back to. <laughs> when it comes to YouTube and my, my goals, you know, I've never viewed this as a getting rich quick scheme. I've never wanted to be, I don't want to be a rich, I don't want to have a McMansion. I mean, of course I would like to maybe buy a house one day, but like, I don't, yeah, I don't want to be a McMansion. I'm not trying to be Mr. Beast, you know? I just want to make enough where I can quit my job and focus all of my time and energy into making my fun little silly videos because that's truly what brings me passion in life. I love making my videos. It's been driving me crazy how many videos I've been canceling because, oh my God, do I hate canceling videos. It fills me with so much anxiety. <laughs> it's not a fun feeling. And so I'm definitely, now that I'm more settled in, I'm going to try and get into the habit of, I will cancel a video over my dead body because yeah, I don't like canceling them. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, and it, you know, it brings me so much passion. Um, but yeah, so with that being said, I moved okay. No more streams. Obviously, with that also being established, no more stream suggestions. Um, I, I appreciate you. Obviously, you guys want to see me do things and want me to play certain games, but I've been getting a lot of suggestions like, you should play this, but play it on stream. And it's really been hard for me to go, oh, well, no, actually. Because <laughs> I don't want you to view me as a streamer. So yeah that, yeah, that being said, unfortunately, I will not be taking... Of course, you're still welcome to leave them if you want. I just, yeah, don't... Don't have any expectations, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And finally, the last thing I mentioned in my last live update video is that I was looking into going to university. I was considering it. I am officially enrolled and I have been taking classes for about two weeks now. <laughs> I'm only enrolled in one class at the moment because I really just wanted to test it out without the thousands of dollars of debt. So I'm only in one class right now. I do physiology, which is basically the study of the human body and function. As, as I said before, I want to be a mortician. Uh, so far, I'm really, really, really liking it. But I'm also thinking about looking into just directly doing mortician courses, which is more of a, I guess, a trade. It's kind of like trade school, but it's also not. Uh, <laughs> but I've been taking university classes. I've been loving it. Um, it's gone to me to a point where I think even once I am a YouTuber, I'm not going to say a mortician because mortician is very much the temporary job. It's like when you waitress before you become a big actress, you know, like waitressing is what brings the money in to pay the bills, but then you become a famous actress. That's what being a mortician is for me. You know, it's that it's my waitressing in saying that insanely passionate about it as well. I, I wanted to make sure that my waitressing job didn't absolutely suck the life out of me, which is ironic given the career path that I've chosen. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, no. So yeah, but that being said though, yeah, YouTuber is always the end goal. 
I totally forgot how we got to this point, but uh, yeah, I am in university. I think, oh, that's right. Once I finish and I even when I I am a mortician, I think I'm still going to pursue doing university classes. I think I'm just going to do one class at a time. Um, Just to honestly broaden my horizons, it's actually not as expensive as I thought because one class is only like, well, where I'm from, it's like $500 to $1,000, but that's for 12 weeks. You know, so like if I'm working a full time job, I can save up for that pretty quickly. And it's the one class as well. So it's pretty low maintenance. Sorry, it's a total side tangents. <laughs> uh, I th- that's the beauty about sitting in front of a camera is that I can just kind of take everything that's going on in here. You know. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm in university. I'm loving it. I think I'm still going to pursue taking classes. I'm going to s- still pursue being a mortician just so I can make the big bucks and then go straight back into funding the dream. Um, and yeah. That's pretty much it. That's the life update follow up. I love being able to sit here and talk with you guys. And more importantly, thank you so much for all the support. (sighs) I'm tearing up. (laughs) Thank you so much for all the support you guys have been giving me. I know things have been very, very turbulent. Videos have been all over the place, which, as I said, very much fills me with anxiety. But you guys have been so understanding, so sweet, so supportive that it makes me feel very comfortable to come back. It makes me feel very comfortable to want to resume because that's my biggest thing is once I make a mistake, I get very anxious about coming back because then I don't want people to look at me and be like, she's a YouTuber that never uploads. She's the one that always can't. Like, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I love you guys so much. And I'm so passionate about what I do and about these videos like at the end of the day yes I call them silly little videos but they're also just everything to me you know they'll always ah don't cry again (laughs) I made a video ages ago where I talked about how much I loved you guys I started crying and I ain't about to do that again (laughs) you guys don't get that for free a second time but yeah in all seriousness thank you so much for the overwhelming support I there's just no words in the human lexicon that can express how grateful I am, how appreciative I am, how much I love you, how proud I am of the little community we fostered. It's so easy to create a community and just have so much hate. And that's not necessarily the creator's fault. Sometimes it's just how the crookie crumbles, but every single person I've met in this community, every single person I've had the honor of being able to speak to one-on-one, has been nothing but supportive, has been nothing but sweet, kind, understanding, funny, smart, intelligent. Um, yeah, I don't know, it just makes the little girl in me who grew up playing Minecraft, talking to her TV for hours to the point where her parents would come in and be like, Val, who are you talking to? Um, pretending to be a YouTuber. <laughs> really, really happy. So thank you <laughs> so much. I, yeah, as I said, I can't even express how I feel. But with that being said, I feel a tear trying to escape my eye. So (laughs) I'm going to stop this video here. And I love you all so much. Stay safe. Bye. I love you.